Today we're taking a look at the new 2023 Prelude E32 by Dart and Archery. Just a reminder guys, head on over to mikesarchery.com to pick up any of our latest logo gear. We got plenty of hats and shirts as well as any gear you might need for your next adventure. Welcome back to Mike's Archery's YouTube and today we're taking a look at the new 2023 Prelude E32 from Darton. And this bow is a completely redesigned from what they had last year using a similar cam system. Now, Darton has been moved up into Michigan, is being made right there in Michigan. Uh, it's a division of Black Eagle. You've got a little conglomerate there of some really nice brands. If you're looking at a new Dart and you can outfit it with some of those stabilizers, you can pick those up on our website as well. So let's take a look at the specs on the new Prelude E32. Speeds are coming to you at 342 feet per second with an axle to axle of 32 inches. Now the overall cam to cam length is 37 and three quarters. And you can see that with these larger, more aggressive cams. Uh, that does give you a little longer cam to cam length. Now the brace height on this bow is six inches with a reflex of five. Now the factory advertised spec weight on this bow is coming in at 4.9 pounds. And we pulled it out of the box, threw it on the scale and we got 5.2 pounds. Now once we removed that new little stabilizer and some dampeners, we got it down to 5.0 even. So coming in pretty much right on at spec weight. Now this bow is what I would consider a little heavier than most of the bows out there, but not by a lot. It'll just give it a little more sit in your hand. You won't have to weight up your stabilizers as much if you're looking for a little heavier bow. Now the draw length option on this bow with a rotating mod on that cam is coming to you from 27 out to 30 and a half inches. And you can adjust that in quarter inch increments. So it's nice that you're able to adjust that on just a quarter inch movement with this module. However, we were a little surprised that it didn't go any shorter on the draw length than 27. So if you've got a shorter draw, this bow is just not gonna work for you. And then if you've got a longer draw than 30 and a half, again, this is not gonna be the bow that's gonna fit you. But if you fall right there where most people do at 28, 29, even 27, this bow is gonna work great for you. Now the draw weight options on the new Prelude is gonna be every 10 pounds from 40, 50, 60, 70, and also giving you that heavier option at 80 pounds. So Darton gave you plenty of spread there on the poundage options to fit pretty much any archer. Now the let off option on this bow is 80% only on this cam with that module. So no adjustable let off there uh, and not what I would consider a really high let off. It's right there in the middle at 80% fixed on that mod. Now, as we take a look at some of the features on the new Darton Prelude, you've got their new redesigned Prelude cam, and it's got that equalizer cable system. Now we saw that on last year's bow with the Spectre E. I kind of described it as a binary system with yokes. So it just gives you a nice balanced setup. You're able to yoke tune this bow and get a balanced cam lean. So you don't have any cam lean on this. You can move that around, but it, functions as a binary system as well. Gives you a nice smooth draw cycle, gives you a nice platform to build off of, and these cams are even built out of 7075 aluminum, so you've got a strong cam there made out of high quality grade aluminum. Now as far as some of the accessory features on this bow, it does have the integrated rest system, so you can use the QAD integrated dovetail rest on this bow if you like that rest, and if not, you've still got your standard double rest holes there to be able to mount any basic rest that's been on the market. It still has your standard sight mount holes up top. However, it does not have an inline system. They did not go with any of the pick mounts or any other type of system there for the sights. So you will be using your traditional sight mounts, which opens up pretty much anything that's ever been on the market for you. Now with this riser, it is a machine riser, but they go one step farther and build it out of 7075T aluminum, which is also a 6511 pre-stretched and pre-stressed riser. So there's some extra work that goes into this billet before they mill out this riser. It gives less flex in the riser, making a stiffer setup and just giving you a more solid platform and just an easier shootability out of this bow. They're also using heavy duty components using quarter inch axles in all their setups, as well as a five eighths inch bearing. So no worries of anything moving or bending on this bow. Some other standard features that are on there, you've got your adjustable roller guard, so you can tune that bow, take this torque out of the cables if necessary. And then you've also got your smaller short stabilizer down there. They're calling it their resonance cancellation module, but we're seeing that out of a lot of manufacturers 
with a short stabilizer there right above the limb pocket at the bottom of the riser. It takes more vibration out of the riser and gives a better balanced feel. One of the other things they changed on the new Prelude E32 was their new machine grip. It comes with standard side plates on there, has a nice rounded feel. Now there's no options there as far as a grip change, but it is an overall great feeling grip with that machine built into it. Now Darton gives a fairly wide color palette and it's a lot of mix and match stuff. So on the solid color options, you've got a black riser with black limbs and you can mix that with a lot of the camos or other colors to get a custom look with that black riser. You can also get an OD green riser, a flat dark earth riser, the desert tan riser, or even a gray riser. All of those are gonna come with black limbs or maybe a few other camo options that you can mix and match. Now on the camo side of things, they have got the Ursi Emerge 2.0, the Vooney camo, a Highlander camo, as well as the Kings XK7. And then for you target guys, they've got an American flag and then one of the unique colors we saw on their website was a Floatiel riser with yellow limbs. You're not gonna find that anywhere from anybody else, but they really don't offer any other target colors that we saw on there. Now, if you want a complete listing of the mix and match options, most certainly head over to Darton's website and you'll be able to see all those options that you can pick from for a color. Now, the price point on this bow is coming to you at $11.99. So from a retail standpoint on a flagship bow, it's right there with what all the competition is doing. 1200 bucks seems to be the new norm for a flagship bow and Darton is right there to compete with everybody else. Now, if you are looking for a new Darton, we are gonna have these available on the website and you can check those out from us. And if you want a special order or something, be sure and give us a call. We'll be glad to fix you up with one of these new Dartons. Now we're gonna step over to the lane and we're gonna shoot this bow as usual on 29 inch draw length with 70 pounds, with the 80% let off, and we're gonna give you the breakdown on all the speeds from 350 grain arrow out to 500 grain arrow, as well as the noise rating on this bow. All right, so we have stepped back here with the new Darton Prelude E32, and we are gonna take a few shots out of this bow, kind of give you a breakdown on the specs of how this thing shoots. As usual, we're shooting this bow at 29 inch draw length with 70 pounds, and on the 80% let off. Uh, we'll give you a breakdown of all the speeds here in just a minute and let you know how this bow shoots. So let's take a few shots and just see how it does. All right, so with a 400 grain error, which is where we always start on the Prelude E32, we got 308 feet per second. So putting out some pretty nice speeds from what we've seen, but this bow is supposed to be somewhat of a speed bow, uh, and that 308 is definitely right there what we've seen out of most bows this year. Now as we drop back to a 350 grain arrow, this bow got 324. And then as we went to a heavier arrow at 450 grains, it dropped down to 295. And then with a 500 grain arrow, it dropped down to 282. So overall, keeping its efficiency throughout, as you get a heavier arrow, still putting up some really nice speeds as to what you'll see. So you'll get some great kinetic energy and, and a lot of push out of this bow. Now, as far as the noise factor on this bow, uh, decibel reading on it was 96.2, which again, right there in the middle of the road, it's certainly not the quietest bow we've shot this year, certainly not the loudest, but it's a, overall a nice quiet bow that would be great for hunting. Now, as we talk, about the feel and overall shooting of this bow, the draw cycle is a little stiff on this bow. Now they were trying to get some speeds out of it and you're gonna feel it. The cam looks a little bit aggressive, has a little bit of a lobe here at the front end, and you're gonna feel that. It's stiff on the front end coming through. Uh, it drops off fairly aggressive at the back, but once you get it there, nice and stable, sits in your hand fairly well, got an overall good feel from there. But if you're not adverse to a little harsher draw cycle, then most certainly the dart may be something you want to look at. It's definitely not the smoothest bow we've shot, but it's not terrible at all. It's still got a nice smooth draw curve coming over. It's just a little more aggressive and stacks up a little bit. Now from there, the shootability of it as far as the grip feels really good. That new machine grip that they put on there has got a nice feel in your hand, sits very stable. Uh, it's fairly thin, somewhat of a target style grip. Overall, pleased with the grip from Darton. Now the after shot on it is dead in the hand. So whatever they've done with this cable system, their extra dampening, uh, that pre-stretched and uh, pre-stressed aluminum here to make it a little stiffer, 
most certainly you feel it. It doesn't have any vibration in it or kick after the shot. After that, this bow is just a really nice shooting bow. Uh, it is a little bit heavier than most of the bows on the market. Now, so you're going to notice that when you pick it up. We talked about that at the beginning. It just weighs five pounds. And frankly, if you were going to weight it back up, put a sidebar on it, some stabilizers, you're just not going to need to run maybe as long a stabilizer and not as much weight uh, to get this bow to sit just because of the overall mass weight of the bow to begin with. But from there, Darton has got a nice bow, a really great platform, and it's a little different than everybody else on the market. So these bows are available on Mike's Archery's website. So if you're looking for a new Prelude E32, then certainly check it out on the website. If you don't see a color or an option there that you're looking for, then give us a call. We'll be glad to put any model that you're looking for or customize one out for you and get it sent to you. So if you're looking for a new Darton, give us a call at Mike's Archery.